Well, Attorney Ogden, any comment? You argued this case from the beginning and you represented no people comment. in the House. No comment? The governor's lead counsel didn't have any comment after marking a major victory in the Commonwealth's first impeachment trial, but opposing senators and those in the public did on Wednesday before the vote was made, including the governor's brother, who shared how the governor bravely responded to disasters like the pandemic. That is the kind of governor that he is. That's the governor that we have. That's the governor that you have. That's the governor that I have. And he is my baby brother. Perhaps less comforting words came from the House. Democrats called the trial a travesty of justice, saying that the vote was a foregone conclusion and they now look to the courts for justice. Minority senators who voted to convict Torres on all articles of impeachment also fired back on Wednesday. The final outcome of the trial had already been predetermined. Some call it, and we commonly hear it, in this chamber and even outside this chamber, it was a kangaroo court. In a struggle for power in a system of checks and balances, those in the majority offered the last word before their acquittal of Torres. This is legislature. Three branches of government, there's only not, not only one. Focus now turns to legal battles in court, including the criminal charges filed by the Attorney General reflecting the articles of impeachment. The ultimate referendum may very well be in November. Tomas Manglotnia for KOM News on Saipan.